And Bev and I are now going to announce the projects that have uh, been funded. Bev, if you want to start with the first So we're going one. to take the same process. It seems to be working. Nobody's bullish yet. <laughs> but there are a number. They both come under. They all come under the community. Uh, first of all, the Bill Canada Fund, the community component. Uh, first on the municipality of Lampton Shores, water infrastructure, $2,327,895. And then the municipality of North Middlesex for the renovation and expansion of the North Middlesex Arena and Kitchen, <coughs> and that is $1,667,780. Uh, Glencoe Standpipe re uh, Replacement, the municipality of Southwest Middlesex, underwater infrastructure, $1.9 million. And the Township of Lucan Bedolf for renewal of the Lucan Wastewater Treatment Plant, and that is for $825,000. Uh, Middlesex Center Community uh, uh, Recreation Facility and Wellness, uh, $8 million. I kind of rounded these off. Well, yeah, I think we're gonna, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, Highway 81 at the Grand Bend um, Rehabilitation for the County of Middlesex, and that is um, from each level of government four hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars. The uh, Grand Bend Main Street redevelopment, uh, Lampton Shores, uh, under road infrastructure, uh, eight hundred and seventy thousand. And again to Lampton Shores for the Thetford Brzezanquit Community Center revitalization, and each level of government will be putting in one and a half million dollars. Uh, and again, Parks and Trails uh, under uh, Thetford Village Green, 167,000. To the, middle, uh, the uh, Municipality of Middlesex Center for the Denfield Operations Center, two million dollars from each level of government. Uh, municipality of Southwest Middlesex under uh, Municipal Buildings, uh, Fire Hall, replacement uh, 333,000. And then the Middlesex, uh, or Southwest Middlesex again, for the Eckford Community Center renovation, and that is $83,000. Cutty, uh, yeah, Adela uh, Township of Adelaide Metcalf, uh, uh, road construction, 265000 And Adelaide Metcalf will also see uh, a new fire hall at Kerwood, which would be for 200000 from each level of government. Brook Alvinston, uh, road infrastructure, uh, 75000 Brook Alvinston, again, for administration, uh, their administration community center buildings for accessibility, uh, $86,000. Don Euphemia, <laughs> under water infrastructure, uh, $274,000. Township of Luke and Bedolf, for the Saintsbury Road reconstruction, $320,000. Uh, Luke and Bedolf under Municipal Buildings, uh, Community Memorial Center, 156000 Again, Luke and Bedolf for the George Street uh, Water Main replacement, $285,000. Uh, Strathroy Caradoc, uh, water, uh, wastewater infrastructure, $2,800,000. And Newberry for their municipal office expansion and renovation, $98,000 from each level of government. Uh, under the county of Lambton, uh, local road uh, infrastructure, uh, $316,000. And also for the county of Lambton, the Community Health Services Department expansion. Um, now I have to look here. Five, $558,000. Thank you. And uh, communications enhancement in Lambton County, $109,000. Then there were, in Kent County, uh, there were four projects uh, that were approved. For our parts of, the, of Lambton Kent, yeah. Middlesex. Yeah, just for our part. Uh, Chatham Kent did have a number approved, but for our particular part of the riding, the Sydenham River Bridge at the Langstaff Line, and that is for $800,000. And the uh, Sanitary Sewer Rehabilitation Wallaceburg, it comes under two, but one is for uh, $1.1 million and the other one is for five hundred and thirty thousand. And Dresden storm, uh, storm sewers for one million dollars. And folks, that's uh, the in, the intent and the extent of the funding through the Bill Canada and the infrastructure funding that has been put out. Uh, uh, as we mentioned earlier, just sort of in, in light, but the the fact is today the shovels can dig. Mm -hmm. 
uh, the money is out, or the money is available, the construction can start, and the funding for the first 25% will come very, very quickly uh, to that. It gets based on invoices, but that's how it will work, and uh, we look forward to working with each of you uh, in the future as we have today. And I'm really pleased that uh, both levels of government have been able to work together <coughs> to make sure that our communities are able to move forward with projects that are very much needed. Um, in discussing with our own minister, we have, as you will notice, there are large projects and a mix of small projects. We want to be sure that we not only enable large contractors to have part of this, but we wanted to not allow for small communities and small contractors to be part of this as well. So there's a nice mix of, of both types of projects, and we're very proud of what we've been able to do together. Thank you.